So I think the cycles of innovation are similar to the cycles of life. You fall in love, you create, you obsess, you hold on tightly, it fails, you let go, you cry, you mourn, and then you settle down and you start over again. I think the secret sauce is not just a belief in your idea, but it's a relentless conviction that it has to happen because it's really going to bring something transformational to the world. They have to have this compelling case that it's going to make the world better some way. It takes an attitude shift, and I think there is a degree of courage that's really needed to say, how do we embrace these transformational ideas and put them in place? And test your concepts along 10, 20 different dimensions before committing to one track. I think the more we talk about creative ideas, even if they're non-consensus ideas and they're so radical, I think the more receptivity we get to those ideas. If you could just metaphorically take a moment and burn down this thing that you've created, how would you rebuild it? Would it be exactly the same structure? Would it be contained with all the same things? Create with detachment so that you can pivot and change and reinvent, but if you hold on tightly, you end up like this. Burn the house down. It allows you to innovate. Be open-minded, be receptive. Lean into the failure, expect it. Realize that your greatest learning within the innovative cycle is that moment of failure. And this is something that is a differentiator from the, the good and the great entrepreneurs and leaders who are able to make change happen. I really believe that new technologies are going to be hugely impactful. It's really going to enhance what we're doing here um, with our productivity. If you're able to collaborate with geniuses and thought leaders and partners and peers across the globe, we will move faster. That's how you unlock a, a big idea. You have to do it with a, a great team. You can't problem solve and create without having the comfortability to be vulnerable, to be authentic, and to have constant open communication and more human connection. For me, it's really to aspire to do something special every single day. If you think about something ambitious, if you think about the why in, in what you're doing, then I think you find that it's, it's very easy to do even more, uh, and that doesn't then give you the incremental, it gives you the exponential.